Hi, this is Ennis from Never Stop Trucking. We are talking about air scales. This is a very useful tool for drivers, especially for owner operators, but even if you have your own fleet and if you want your drivers to be able to scale their load without going to a scale, then this would be a perfect tool for you. It's not that expensive when you compare the cost to wasting the fuel going back and forth to scales paying $13 currently for a scale ticket there are other factors as well in play for example some drivers would uh, avoid scales if they are unsure of their weight and worst case scenario of all of this is that if you don't know how heavy you are and they overweigh your truck then you might be placed out of service at a way station and that's the worst thing that can happen. So in compared to all these costs and scenarios and risks, getting this air scale is really a no-brainer. As you guys know, I only talk about products that I believe in or that I'm using myself. And this one uh, checks both of those options. I recently installed it on one of my trucks and I'm going to be showing you that video here. So let's take a look and see how to install it. Uh, after you install it, all you have to do is go to uh, either uh, App Store or uh, Google Play and just get the app called Blue Tech Inc. Uh, it's uh, all in one, you know, for the ELD solutions and other things, but there is also an option where you can uh, choose to go to Air Scales. And uh, all you have to do is put in your information as a driver and as a company and just register an account. And after that, you can scan the barcode on the box or manually add those sensors and they will show up there you have to calibrate them but i'll show you how to calibrate them in the video itself at the end so let's take a look uh, this is what we need in order to put it on the truck and the trailer uh, this thing here this valve goes to the front part it goes onto the tractor uh, by that airbag where the leveling valve is okay and then we have another one that goes all the way to the back on the trailer and uh, by the airbags as well and uh, they have a extension here that comes all the way to the front of the trailer uh, to give better signal to the app to your phone while you're sitting in the cab uh, these are the instructions for the actual app but we'll do that later all we have to do is uh, register it register the account and then register the device here so uh, this here shows us how to install the air sensors uh, dump the air from the airline where you will install the sensor so we're gonna um, dump the air from the airbags over there you can do it from the inside of the truck when you lower the airbags the uh, air will go out uh, check it is the sensor you just assigned to that axle in the app we're gonna go the other way we're just gonna do the valve first and then we'll find it on the app after we install it uh, sensors can be installed anywhere between the leveling valve and the airbags. We suggest placing it near the end of the line so it can be reattached later if needed. So we're just going to put it right there uh, where the hose goes into the leveling valve, right there near that end. Uh, you got to cut that line and we're just going to use uh, pliers. Uh, just cut it and then insert it and it should just pop into this gray uh, thingy a little here and uh, position the fitting sensor so it's facing upward like this and it won't be resting on the metal push the cut ends of the air line into the t until the gray flanges lock into position start the truck and uh, inflate the airbags okay so we're going to do that here first and then we're going to go to the trailer as well and do this one so we're going to dump the air now from the airbags we're going to go inside the truck so just uh do this Is it gonna do it? No, once you get down so low on air, it, kicks, it automatically kicks out. Probably gotta pump the pedal or something. Oh, that's okay. All right, no, never mind. Okay. I'm gonna get my pliers and the fitting. I'm just gonna somehow. over there it should fit that hose 
should be the same size it looks like the same size we're gonna go as close as we can with the leveling valve right here so we're gonna cut it here probably somewhere right here in the middle Push it upwards, sitting tight. Now we're gonna go underneath the trailer. It's a little bit windy here. So hopefully you can hear me. But we're gonna look for the leveling valve on the trailer. Right there. Ooh, right here. There it is. It's right here somewhere, like maybe, see there's a red hose, but there is a, a like a leveling valve, but it goes to the tank. That's the air tank. We have to find a hose that goes between the leveling valve and the airbag. Or I have to find it. So there is the leveling valve, there is a airbag, oh right here, this one, I found it, airbag, you got it, hmm? airbag, right. leveling valve, okay and there is the hose, so we can just cut in here, into this hose, between, because that's leveling valve, that's that, that should work, nice, it should cut finger, yeah, this should work. So what you have to do is you push uh, the valve inside and that's all you have to do. You just twist it a little bit, push it in all the way in, make sure it's inside and when you pull it shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't be able to pull it out, okay? So this is the way it's supposed to sit and then you do the same thing here, okay? Push it all the way in and now it's sitting good nice and tight you can still uh, flip around like this but when you pull on it it shouldn't be coming out okay now we're gonna run this all the way to the front of the trailer i'm gonna use some zip ties and just you know tie it up here to these existing uh, hoses it, it's not supposed to rub against anything because this is air and if dot sees it you know it's a violation okay so you gotta make sure it's not and fit and you know steady uh, and fixed okay so let's do that this is good thing you know when they first came in came out with these they didn't have this extension cord and the uh, drivers were having trouble with uh, you know the signal okay so now they have this extension cord and uh, it's better this is perfect you just put it in here Okay, like that, and like that, perfect. So, but I'll still use zip ties. And then I'll, uh, then I'll, let me see if they have something like that here. Probably not, but what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna follow these, because when you extend, when you move the tandems, it, ha it should have enough playroom. So don't make it all tight, okay? If you make it all tight, and then you, you move your tandems backwards, it's gonna rip the cable. Okay, so you gotta follow this and give it some room to play, okay? We took off the valve 
and then we're just gonna push this all the way here on the side of the trailer all the way to the front all the way down along with other uh, lines okay got this far to here to the landing gear and it won't let me tug it through the through this part here so we're just gonna cut it here and uh, grab this valve and just put it here okay Should cut it here And then what you have to do is just uh, unscrew this, push the hose in right here, push it all the way in, or you gotta put the, the nut on the hose first, okay, just push it in and then tighten that nut. And then I'm gonna try to just put it, push it in here so it stays there. Okay, so now he's gonna get his empty weight and we're gonna record that empty weight into the app and once he gets loaded he's gonna do the heavy load as well and that way the sensors will learn the weight you know once once it's uh, empty and once it's loaded and that's how they calibrate it so next time you get a load it will uh, be a correct weight so he has to do his axles here you want me to go get it okay okay, okay. <laughs> we're gonna go inside and get the weight get the scale ticket from them Okay, now the sensor is ready for calibration, okay? Uh, now we're gonna put in these weights, click next, and then it will ask you uh, if it's a no-load calibration or heavy load. So in this case, since it's empty weight, we're gonna do no-load calibration. And the next time when you, when you get your load, uh, make sure you do the heavy load calibration. Okay, now we're gonna put in the steer axle weight, which is uh, 12,020 pounds and drive axle weight 12,880 okay and trailer weight 10,120 so just make sure that it's correct it's same okay got it and then we're gonna go save here and then actually right here save okay so we gotta do the next one. I also ask you to uh, take a picture uh, for your own records. And we're gonna do that right here. Take a picture. Okay, save. And that's it. That's how we calibrate it. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you in deciding whether you should get one of these for your truck and trailer. And uh, really, it really makes sense because these things are uh, becoming more accessible and uh, more affordable and easier to work with. So go ahead and try it out. The link is in the description of this video. I will also put it uh, in the comment section so you guys can go and check it out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around.